Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how do you prioritize self love? Well, the one thing that's so important as you go through life is to appreciate and respect who you are as a person first because it makes it so much easier when you know what that means to be nurture who you are because it's not just about having love in your life with other people and nurturing the love with them if you love yourself first you learn how to nurture the other people who are in your life and this is one of the things that a lot of people aren't quite sure how to do because we all have things that we're not happy about we're always our worst self-critic we don't know how to give to ourselves on a regular basis because we're busy giving it to other people in our lives, whether it's our kids, whether it's our, our family, our friends. This is something that causes a lot of friction in relationships because if you're emotionally detached from caring for yourself and showing yourself love, you will eventually be detached from other people as well. Because if you don't know how to show how to appreciate yourself, and have utmost respect for who you are as a person, it's not as easy to maintain that in a relationship. If you always respect yourself, you will always value your self-worth because you're, you, you've got boundaries, you've got situations that you're, you're working on to be that better person and to also love yourself for all the little things that you've had to do and endure in your life. Life is not a walk in the park. It can be a really tough place sometimes. We often start to question ourselves when something drastically changes or something doesn't work out the way we'd like it to. And that's where the self-doubt comes in. And we sort of push away from ourselves and we almost separate from who we are because we're dealing with something that we're not really sure how to move forward with. And again, that's okay too. But the first part is sitting down and saying to yourself, it's okay, it's okay that I messed up or that I'm not really sure how to move forward with this. I'm going to find a way to do it. And don't beat yourself up or berate yourself because everything isn't flawless. The best part about life is evolving to higher ground. There can be so many variables about why we have a tough time showing ourselves love. It can just, be a time in our life where we don't feel that we're succeeding. Maybe our friends have more than we do and why are they getting this and we're not? And that can play havoc with your, your self-esteem because you feel that you're working hard but you're not getting what you want. Unfortunately today social media plays a part in self-doubt because when you're seeing other people's Instagram or Facebook posts and everything looks so freaking wonderful for them you start questioning your own life. And this is where I'm finding with a lot of people that they are having doubts about themselves and where they are at this time in their life. So how do you stay in a positive mindset when you're not feeling it? What steps can you do to feel better about yourself that don't cost a lot of money or there's not a lot of time invested? Just something that you can do every day to make yourself feel nurtured and feel happy and feel loved. The first thing you can do when you wake up in the morning every day is say out loud what you're grateful for. The simplest little grateful mantras that you can put out there will bring more to you because you're appreciating what you have. You're not putting energy into what you don't have and this is where I think a lot of people are making mistakes that they think about what they they don't have in their life as opposed to the blessings they do have. So the second thing I would suggest would be to do something nice for yourself every day. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It doesn't have to be expensive. Mark it on the calendar. I'm going to take an hour to go to the market today. I'm going to buy myself flowers. I'm going to put a half an hour aside to have a candlelit bubble bath. I'm going to walk my neighbor's dog because I enjoy my time outside with this little puppy. All these little things are big things in the scheme of things because they make you feel good and you're caring for yourself you're doing something that makes you feel good it's not always about doing something for other people 
we get lost in this sometimes, especially, especially if you're a parent where you're always giving to your children or you're the nurturing soul where you give to everybody but yourself. This is a big one that I find a lot of people have that, that they're depended on by so many people that they forget about themselves. And that can cause depression down the road because you're not nurturing who you are. Pencil in a weekly self-care day. Something that's just for you. It could be going for a manicure. It could be getting your hair done. And I'm talking for men here too. It's not, this isn't just a female situation. Mm -hmm. Men like to have these sort of things too. So I really stress to people that you care about yourself first and foremost to be able to give love and nurture other people. Sometimes self-care is just about quiet, quieting your mind. Just taking away some of that dialogue that gets stuck and that you want to remove for a while just so that you can feel good. There might be something that's been nagging at you. Take some meditation, take some yoga, go sit in a park. Anything that you can do to quiet your mind. It's really, really helpful when you can do this because it takes away that chatter. And when you take that away, you start to feel better and better every day. And you understand that nurturing yourself is a good thing as well. Sometimes our self-esteem takes a bit of a beating because we don't like what we see in the mirror. Change up what's going on with your physical appearance if you're having troubles looking in the mirror these days. We all have those moments. Just maybe sometimes just a new haircut or maybe a different type of makeup or if you're a guy, take off your beard or grow a beard. All these things can change up your thinking really quickly. It's amazing how just a little pampering for yourself makes you feel a hundred, hundred times better. Hang out with positive people. If you've got negative people in your life, st slowly weed them out because that's not helping your mood. You want to be around fun people. Be goofy. Bring out the child in you once in a while. Who cares if you act like an immature character? Just get and be fun again. Learning how to love and care for yourself is always a work in process. It's just something that we all deal with. Nobody's immune from having these sort of tough times or these down moments or this, I don't know how to care and love myself the way I should. We all go through that. And that's okay because that's something that if you pay attention to it, you can combat that and make changes. So thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments you have or show topics in the comment section below the video here. Thank you so much. Please subscribe.